So Joe, it looks like you've set another little challenge up. We've had a couple of these previously. Yes, so of course we're always worrying about our poor electricians out there. They're very, very busy people and we want to try and save them some time. So this is hopefully another one of our time saving okay. uh, little jobs here. And again, let's go for a little challenge. We're one all at the moment. So we're gonna see who's gonna win on this one. Uh, nothing in this product is named rapid or quick. Okay. So like, there's no hint there about who's going to be the fastest. Okay. I'm going to be using the Wago connectors and you're going to be using the connector block to join two conductors together. Okay, just just I've got a selection of tools again. It doesn't yep, look absolutely. as if again you've got I've many. Got a pair of cutters, yeah. I see screwdrivers and pliers for doubling over and all sorts of stuff going on over there. Uh, make sure it doubles them over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to do do the usual thing, are we? We're going to set yep. ourselves a ready, steady, and Absolutely. see how we get on. I am going to be properly going for it on this one, though, <laughs> because I, I'm not sure how much there is in this. So I'm, oh, I right. really want to go for it on this one. Okay. So okay. shall I'm we? I'm not going to be all casual, you know. We'll bring the camera in. We'll have a look. Let's see have how a look. casual you go. Okay then, Joe. There's some serious tension this side of the bench, yep. and we're going to do the connector block versus the Wago. A couple of conductors, series of tools, series of tools. Okay, that will need to be placed down. <laughs> Grow up. Okay. Yeah. So, Genuinely quite nervous. This yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in with a bit of a crack here. So, yeah. um, yes, as am I. So, we're going to go um, off when I go. We'll count down from five okay. and then we're off and running. So, and are you going to count down from five properly this time? No, we're going to do it in random speed five, okay. four, three, two, one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so clearly I've got you on the ropes because you're already cheating. There we go. And now you're flicking your insulation at me as well. Wow. Fortunately, I do have a spare Lego connector here. Just bend those up, strip those off to 13 mil, which is the recommended length. And that is one, two connector blocks. Done. Well, yeah. a bit of an attempt there. I'm sure somebody will pick me up on those ends, but that no, was for, yeah. well, that's not too bad. And in fairness, you are a speedy bloke when it comes to carry on electrical installation. And so that is still pretty impressive. Yep. Okay. I'd say that, what was that, like half the time, a third of the time, I reckon? But there, there's more error in mine, and there, there's you're rushing, you're yeah. folding over, you, you know, yeah, yeah, etc. Absolutely, let's just yeah. have a little. Let's have a little look. Too bad, yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? That's in there. Okay, yeah. So again, you think repeating those, you know, many well, hundreds of times, that's a significant amount of time saved, isn't it? How tight did I get them? Was that too tight? Yep. Yeah, yep. etc. Was it tight enough? And yeah. you're, every absolutely. time that arch comes down, yep. it's exactly the same tightness. Exactly. Okay. Really good. So I think we can conclude that as yeah, the whole of the electrical industry is fully aware of that yep. the style of maintenance free connector blocks are a winner, both mm. on the tension and the speed and installation. Absolutely. And like you say, maintenance free as well. So this can uh, be done once and for all. And we don't have to worry about that becoming loose because it is permanent connection.